that we may be outselling the competition, but what does it do for an encore? This time in the bonus round, we take you inside our predictions for Nintendo's E3 showing. How does Nintendo steal the show? I don't think that they're going to be bringing out anything that appeals to the hardcore any more than they did last year. And what problems does Reggie have to solve? I'm beginning to believe that the Wii's sales are driven not by games, but by peripherals. Those answers right now in the bonus round E3 preview. We're back on Game Trailer's bonus round, and we're giving you an E3 preview. I've assembled three of the top journalists in the industry to give you some insight into what they're expecting from the biggest trade show out there, E3 2008. And now we're turning to Nintendo and the Wii and DS. And joining me once again is Steven Totillo from MTV News and MTV Multiplayer, and Guy Kroll from Newsweek and Level Up, and Brian Crescenti from Kotaku, and a little Rocky Mountain News variety. Throw yes, some other things yes, in there. Other things. A little bit of everything. All right, let's turn to Nintendo. And I'm going to have to start this with Steven, as since you are the resident Nintendo fanboy, you'll get the next segment, Brian. Uh, Steven, how does Nintendo steal the show? Well, it depends on who's in their audience, because if they have hardcore gamers in their audience again like they had last year, I think. The geeks on the top? They're going to be down for disappointment <laughs> again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know if you're getting your, your extra storage that you're looking for. I don't think that they're going to be bringing out anything that appeals to the hardcore any more than they did last year. I mean, if the patch is the, clear. Mark Franklin from Nintendo PR is out there being quoted saying, we have stuff for the, the hardcore gamer. And Reggie, when I talked yeah, to him at GDC, you. told me that there's going to be a great game shipping this holiday season that's going to you know, feed that need for the hardcore to play something. What, what is it going to be? I mean, is it, is it Kid Icarus? Is it a, a new Zelda? I mean, I, well, first, I don't know. I mean, Kid Icarus, I, I've never really understood that because, I mean, it's an NES franchise and, or NES single game that people liked back in the day. And I don't see that, you know, being able to be reinvented in a way that's relevant. But the little fanboy in you is screaming for it. <laughs> I never played Kid Icarus, John. Ooh, Tatilla. Well, you I mean, started playing games in 99? A couple years before I Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, they have shown this year, yes, that with Smash Brothers, they can still reach the hardcore, but the hardcore, I think, are looking you know, continuously towards the PlayStation 3 and the 360 for satisfaction, and I don't think that Nintendo has yet proven they've identified a way to grab the hardcore back. And you look at something like Metroid Prime, the, you know, the first game was really relevant to hardcore gamers. The third game was arguably as good as the first, and it sold you know, a fraction of what the first one sold. I don't think for all of Nintendo's strengths, so they still know how to talk about the hardcore. They can't steal the show, Tatilla's telling me. And guy, what can they do? It's like if you're Reggie, you've got a problem here. Tatilla's saying he can't steal the show. These guys are all about showmanship. I think his fanboy card has been revoked. Right. Um, <laughs> so what's left? Why, what, is, is it Wii Music? Is that what's going to steal the show? Like, it might be Wii Music. I mean, my guess is it, it's hard to tell. I mean, the, the Steve Jobs thing to do would be to walk off the stage, say one more thing, and then bring out another peripheral that we've never right. seen before. Um, but I don't know that Nintendo's quite so programmatic about it. So do they have another peripheral? I mean, if they do, and this is entirely possible, they might bring something like that else, and that'll probably you know, get all of us, we'll be mystified like we were last year, and, but we'll have to hang our heads and say, wow, that's probably gonna sell a ton of units. Yeah. Other than that, you know, maybe it's Wii Music, maybe they'll give a taste of a new Zelda that won't be shipping this year, but next year. I don't know. I mean, the whole thing, they've changed the rules so much. They've disrupted the industry so much that now we can't tell what they're going to do next. Mm -hmm. They got us guessing. So, Brian, what does Nintendo need to do here? I mean, how do they shock us? Because the thing is, we don't even know what Wii games are coming out for the second half of the year. I mean, like Steven, you posted on your blog, I mean, they don't even really announce game releases until a couple weeks before they come out. They have no announced games right now. Well, no. Mario Strikers, I guess, right? The, the baseball one, but they, right. don't have, they don't have a date on it, so they have nothing announced for any calendar yeah. date. So I mean, what, what do they have at E3? Do they have a show? Do they need anything? I mean, right. I, they don't, but I think, first, first off, I think that the Wii... I'm beginning to believe that the Wii's sales are driven not by games, but by peripherals. And I, I know that sounds like I'm joking, but I'm being serious. Right. I mean, you look at what's really driven the sale of the console, it's not games. Mm -hmm. It's Wii Fit. It's a steering wheel. I mean, it's things like that that are making people want to go out we and buy the Wii. We play with the second controller. Right. So I think, I think there will be another Wii music? peripheral. I don't think that's going to be it. I think they're going to come up with something to like balance your checkbook or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> the biggest but, news that Reggie can announce on stage at E3 is basically to say, anyone for the rest of the year, anyone who goes into a store looking for Wii will find one. 
Right. That would be a surprise. Yeah, that would be the fact that there would actually be the, there'd be the quantities out there. Same thing with WeFit. I mean, that's you know supply constraints. So, but but, so, but I, no, but I think, and I don't mean to interrupt, but one thing that we're forgetting about is the DS. Right. Um, I don't know if it's too certain, soon for this to happen, but you know that Nintendo hasn't forgotten about their handheld market, and the DS has been out for a while. So I wouldn't be totally surprised if. Maybe this year's a little too early, but perhaps a new DS coming out. I mean, well, I've always thought maybe you know a DS that ties more tightly to the Wii, because I think you know one thing that we haven't they haven't really exploited is sort of that Wii DS connectivity. I mean, back in the day there was you know GameCube with the, you know the link cable and everything, but now these are both wireless devices. You'd think that they'd be able to commun communicate with each other more, you know, make it more like a Wii on the go. Well, I mean, but it can. Well, you're right. I mean, it'd need hard drive space. Exactly. Um, but you know how Nintendo feels about hard drives. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they do. They do communicate. But no one. I mean, there's what, like two, three games right now that communicate with the the DS between the DS yeah, and, and the Wii. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's and kind like, of meaningless what they right. do. And I mean, is that something, Stephen, as a you know Nintendo fanboy, that would get you excited? Well, I, I think. Uh, the connection I expect to see between Nintendo Portables and the Wii is more of a thematic one. And uh, one of the technologies I think we're going to see in their handhelds next is tilt. Because right. when I interviewed Miyamoto years ago when the DS first came out, he said that he also wanted to have a tilt sensor in there. It was the one thing they couldn't fit in there. 